Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. We're back. Yes, we are. We are back. Two weeks in a row. Boom. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm sporting an Alakazam Academy bit of merch. You are. And you. So, we sort of look like twins. We do a little bit. They've been trying to get you to wear this for ages. So and nice today, yeah. seeing as I was wearing a stripy top, and yeah. you went, oh, it's all bubbling on camera. So, yeah. I put one on. And I to tell you the truth, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will be it now, you won't wear anything else. Brilliant. So, remember you can get your Academy merch on the website. So there's a lot to talk about this week because last night, which was Thursday, we had our uh, live product launch over on Facebook where we launched yes, we two products. Yeah. One of them is out now and if you buy it this weekend, you will get a free trick shoved in. Yeah, of which I'm going to show you in this vlog and that will end is it Monday morning? Yeah, Monday morning at 9 a.m. So that will be That'll Monday, be what's today? Uh, today Please. is the 5th, isn't it? Sure. Friday the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. So it will be the 8th. Yes. Today it, is the 5th, isn't today it? Today is the 4th. Today is the 4th, Friday the 4th. No, to, to, <laughs> today is Wednesday the 4th. Yeah. Thursday the 5th. And when did Friday we get the, the live? Sixth. Friday the 6th. <laughs> Did we have to live yesterday? On or? Thursday, yeah. But today's Friday. <laughs> yeah. What's today's day? The 6th. Right. Not the 5th. Yeah. The 9th. Apologies. So, so, to, so Monday's the 9th. Monday's the 9th, yeah. And right. I think I was, I was right. Well, you weren't right. I don't know what I was, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, but it is strict. 9 a.m on the 9th it will cut off and every single time we say this we get your person oh well, I missed it I missed and everything it. else so that will teach you to yeah. watch this vlog when it goes up yeah because unfortunately we have to have a cut off um, I know you know We've been mean to, to some of you, but it's, it's not. We have to have a cut off to be fair for everyone. Yeah. So if you purchase uh, the Gordon Diary before 9 a.m. on Monday the 9th of October 2017, and that's 9 a.m. UK time, you will also receive killer, oh my God, absolutely free. Yes. You'll get the gimmick cards popped in with your order and you'll get the explanational video popped into your account. There we okay. go. Teach yes. you how to do it. Um, but this, let's, uh, we'll get back to this actually. Let's talk about the Academy. Yes. All right. Because we've got um, a, new, a new course that's just been put up actually. We have got yeah. a new course. So in October, this coming month, we have two courses running. The first of which is Revealing Mentalism by Chris Rawlings. That's going to be a two day course. Um, it goes live at 7 p.m. UK time, and it doesn't matter if you miss it, you can't make the time or date, as long as you've pre-booked it, because you won't be able to buy it after the event, the video and the course will be saved into your Alexam account, so you can either view it in there as many times as you want, or download it and have it on your iPad, your iPhone, or whatever, so you can watch it on the way to work, or wherever you, wherever you are. Very good. Yeah. Uh, I would just say we are nearly reaching capacity on Chris Rawlins and on Jamie Dawes as well. Jamie's is now off the early bird price. Yeah, um, so is Chris's. Uh, yeah, so we do cap them uh, at a certain amounts so that we can make sure that every question comes in can get answered. Yeah. So um, if you want to get involved, make sure you do soon. And uh, yeah, Chris Combrief is the latest one. So yes. I think we're going to drop a trailer for that. Yeah, let's have a look at what Chris has got to say. Hi, I'm Chris Congreve. Join me on my Alakazam Academy course where you're going to learn 10 professional routines. Uh, I'll go out and perform these all the time, as well as one sort of slightly cheeky one that you're going to do down the pub. <laughs> and uh, also my card in wallet presentation. Uh, you'll get something in the post along with that, which you can only get uh, if you sign up to this course as well. So uh, I hope you're going to join me and I'll see you there. So that's Chris's course. So if you know any of Chris's material, you know it's going to be 
really commercial. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's got great stuff, and I know he's going to be... Uh, I mean, he's a worker, so he's yeah. going to be giving the gems away, which is what these academies are all about, really. The tricks are great. Uh, but, yeah, we really pride ourselves on getting the information, really, that you know you don't necessarily get when you go and see a lecture. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's going to be fantastic. Cool. So, uh, book your ticket. Remember how it works. You, you pre-book your ticket. On the day we go live, you can log into your Alexam account. You go into the section that says the Alexam Academy, and you can watch us live, and you can interact. You can ask questions. Um, oh, yes. just a little thing on Chris's thing as well. Um, they're going to receive something extra in the post that uh, Chris is going to talk about on yes, the day. It's part well. of his uh, card to wallet presentation. It's like a little gag card. Nice. But you can't buy it anywhere. You'll only get it if you see him lecture or if you sign up to this course. And it's a, it's a little throwaway gag, but it's, it's very funny. He gets a lot of laughs from it. Cool. Brilliant. So, um, yeah, sign up to that now. And like I said, uh, on the day that it goes live, log in to your Alexander account, go into the Academy, you can watch us live. If you can't make the date or time, it doesn't matter because it's saved in there, you can watch it whenever you want. Brilliant. And you'll still get the, the extra thing through the post as well. Cool. All right, so that's it for the Academy. Um, just want to say as well, we've had a lot of people emailing in and saying that can they buy these? Um, we've got no plan on, on doing a subscription. Someone wanted a subscription to them. Uh, we've got no plan on doing those. They do go out with every order while stocks last. Um, and they'll be coming out a newsletter every month. Yeah. So, and um, just if you haven't seen these <coughs> before, um, John Carey's got a trick in there. He's going to have a trick in there every month. Um, it, Andy's got his book corner. I've got a lowdown in there. Pete's got some great information. And they're just a real great little read, really. Jenny has a little deal of the month on the back. Yeah, yeah they're great. So um, pick one up. Either come into the shop or place your order. Cool. All right, so let's get on to... One of our new releases. Yes. All mate. right. We've got a trailer that we're going to be dropping for this. And if you didn't see last night's live launch, then this will be the first time you've probably seen the trailer. Yeah. Uh, but I have to, well, I'll talk about this afterwards. But shall we take a look at it? Yeah, let's take a look at the trailer. In 1989, I created a diary effect that took the magic world by storm, receiving rave reviews in all the magic publications of the time. And I'm pleased to say this effect is still in the working repertoires of many working magicians the world over. I'm pleased to say that now, for the first time, I'm putting all my thoughts and tips for this amazing routine on DVD. You can now perform my diary trick with absolutely no memory work, so you will be performing this incredible effect in minutes. Hi Dave. Hello. Lovely to see you. Thanks for helping Thank out. You. Bless you. Now I've got two items on the table here. I've got a pack of cards and a diary, which I'll come back to in a moment. The first thing I'd like you to do is to shuffle. These are your cards, aren't they? Yeah. Give them a mix, buddy. Give them a good shuffle. Now, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to tell you about the diary and then I'll show it to you. Okay. Most people in their diaries have um, items of things to do, shopping lists and so on and so forth. Yeah. My diary is different. Instead of anything to do, on each date of the year, there's a name of a playing card. Now, of course, there's 52 cards in the deck, 365 days in the year, so they are repeated a few times. However, let's have a quick flick through there. I'll just show you this. Um, as you can see, look, each date in the year has a different playing card. I'm going to go through a few pages so you can see that. Is that fair? Yeah. OK. I'd like you to hang on to that for just a second. Now, I would like you to think of any date in the year, any date that you want. Don't think of an obvious one like um, your birthday, because I might know it. And don't think of Christmas Day, because people always go for that. Think of any date that you want in the year. Have you got one up here? Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, got it. What's the date you're freely thinking of? 29th of December. 29th? Okay, fine. Now, by the way, um, as you were shuffling this, I think I saw a couple of jokers in here, so let me just double check. Uh, definitely one. We don't want that in the deck. Um, okay, let's just get rid of that for a second. So you're thinking of a free date, any date in the year? Yeah. Oh, by the way, can you just give the cards a cup? Now, of course, you could have mentioned any date in the year. We just already reiterated that. Yep. Very much, 365 days in the year, so it could be any date you wish. Cool. But you mentioned one date in the year, the 28th of December. 29th. Oh, 29th of December, yep. okay, 29th, excuse me. By the way, can you just take the card that you cut to and place it aside? Yeah. 
And what I would like you now to do is to go through the diary and open it on the 29th of December, wherever it may be. It's obviously at the end. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little joke for you, easy to find. And what's yeah, it say? What the card? Yeah. Is it Ace of Hearts? Ace of Hearts. Can you just show the camera maybe, just to point that out a little bit? And can you just flick through a couple of pages before? There's no other duplication of the Ace of Hearts there, is there? And there really isn't, folks. No, no that's okay, isn't it? Yeah. And can you then, with yeah, a little bit of denouement here, turn over the card that you cut to from a freely shuffled deck? <laughs> and that's the Ace of Hearts, isn't it? That is great. <laughs> I love that. You can flick through as much as you want. You're not going to yeah, find it. Yeah, that's them. the thing that's annoying me. I can. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, mate. Bless you. Thank you. Really cool. Thank you. I'm Paul Gordon, and this is The Gordon Diary Trick. So that was the trailer for this, The mm. Gordon Diary Trick. Do you know what? I just want to start by saying that there have been a ton of diary effects out there. I think I looked at one years ago and it kind of put me off because I'm not very good up here yeah. under pressure. Uh, and so even when this came in, I was a bit like, right, come in, I want to learn it. What have I got to learn? And you went, well, nothing. Yeah. And it's... literally within seconds I was doing it. Yeah. And now it's great because I think something like this is really commercial it's great I've been looking recently a lot at sort of doing wedding fairs and stuff and this is perfect for that even yeah. if you were going to mix forget about the birthday and get them to think of their wedding date they've got booked in yeah. you know um, I, I really really like this and I love how easy it is to do and do you know do you know what else there's um, I'll tell you a bit about the diary in a moment but you talking about wedding fairs mm. my routine that I'm teaching with this um, it's not on the DVD but it is available if you buy it it will go straight into your Alexam account my routine for this would work perfectly if you just change the word happy birthday to congratulations yeah because that would work for both birthdays weddings yeah. and everything yeah. so that would be a perfect trick to do on the bride and groom when they come up Brilliant. Um, Fantastic. So anyway, let me tell you a bit, a bit about the diary. Now, I'm a, I'm a fan of diary tricks. I've had the Fortune Teller's Book of Days. I had Pat Page's diary. Um, I had Chronologue. I used to perform Chronologue a lot. And uh, around about, um, I can't remember how long ago, but it was still when I lived in uh, London, I purchased a Golden Diary trick. Now, at the time, I know a lot of people have got it that have been into magic a long time. It's been off the market for around about five or six years, I believe, maybe even longer. But it was a, a little paper diary. Um, even though the effect was great, personally, I didn't feel comfortable using it. It was, it, it was just a small little paper thing, yeah. you know, and it, it didn't quite suit me when I was out and suited up and everything else. So um, we've been working with Paul Gordon, as you know, quite a bit. And I said to Paul, I'd really like to re-release the diary. I think diary tricks are very, very impressive to the lay spectator. I think it gives them a bit more of a personal mm. um, connection with the effect that's going on, you know. Yeah. And Nick Einhorn, who I presume all of you know or have heard of, said it's one of his favorite effects to perform because of the connection it does have with the spectator. Um, so I said to Paul, I would like to redo it. I'd like to add the Alakazam touch, you know, really beef up the diary, make it look quite plush. Yeah. Um, and the finished product, this is something that we've been working on personally for around about a year, yeah. um, getting the prototypes, getting the design. And when you watch the DVD, you'll see that um, the diary we're using in the DVD is different to the end product. Um, we do state that on the DVD and in the trailer. It's a different size because that was one of our first prototypes. Once again, we looked at it and we went, oh, it's a little too big. We wanted everything to be We went through perfect. countless prototypes, so as we normally do here. Um, <coughs> actually, the prototype box is worth a look. Uh, if yeah. you get a chance, yeah. it's just, you see the stages of it um, and then you see the final product, which is beautiful, it's great. And the, the thing is, pocket space is very important to, to all performing magicians, it yeah. really is. So we've tried to make this look classy, we've tried to have it a really decent size, but we've also tried to have it quite thin. Mm. So it's not bulking everything out, yeah. you know? Um, and what we've come up with is absolutely perfect. We've also had um, something extra printed by the USPCC, which takes mm. away 
all the memory work. That's what I was all. talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah it's, it's superb. And it's definitely the way that I, I would do it. Yeah, and it, there's some really great ideas on the DVD um, that talk about how to use it as well. So you can either do this the original way with the, the simple piece of mathematics, but it is still mathematics. You've yeah. still got to work it out. Or you could do it with absolutely no memory work, which to be fair is the way I would do it. Yeah. But I'm going to show you another routine that um, takes away any memory work at all. You, yeah. you literally don't have to know anything. And this is a routine that I used to perform with the diary when I used to work tables in a restaurant if it was someone's birthday. But as Dave mentioned, wedding fairs, this would work perfectly for wedding fairs. It would also work if you're in trade shows. All you've got to do is change the message. Yeah. Um, and if you set your deck up, mine set up with happy birthday, because it is one that I've used a lot. Um, but if you set it up with congratulations instead of happy birthday, that now covers birthdays, it now covers yeah. wedding fairs, um, it can cover almost anything, uh, you know, anniversaries, anything. I have to say, I do feel pretty bad for overlooking this. Um, uh, you know, I, I've seen, obviously I know Paul, Paul's work and uh, I will admit I overlook this. I just, ah, it's not. But it, it's, that's most probably your age as well because when you were really getting into it, chance are it weren't available. Mm. That's that's the thing. It's been off the market for so long. Yeah. Um, I'm saying eight years. It might be 15 years. So I, I can't actually remember. But I, I, we used to stock it, but I can't remember the last time we had it in stock. Yeah. It was years and years ago. So I think a lot of people yeah. haven't had the chance. And the fact is... Um, most people are the same as me because this is actually written up in one of Paul's books. Right. But when you look through it and go, right, get yourself a diary, you need to write down all these. Yeah, I think that is what put me off of just, not not Paul's one, but diaries in general. Yeah, um, there's a lot of work, you know. even though it's a one-time job. It's mm -hmm. still, oh, really? Yeah. So this comes all ready to go out the box pretty much. Yeah. This comes all ready to go. So you get everything inside. You get the um, DVD with the special USPCC thing in there. Um, you also get the diary. Look at that. I mean, that is perfect. That would fit in your outside breast pocket. That was the idea that you could put it in any pocket you wanted. It's small enough. It's thin enough. Um, and the great thing is about this as well is this can be examined by your spectator. Unlike a lot of the other di uh, diaries, there's no, um, obviously each card's repeated because there's only 52 cards mm -hmm. and there's 365 days. So it makes sense that cards will be repeated. But they can literally find their date, go through pages and pages till they see it again. There's no sort of set yeah, system it's fantastic. to it. Yeah. Um, but and we've printed it in like a handwriting type font as well. Yeah. But it makes sense the fact that it's printed as well. Yeah. Because you can be like, yeah, this is the birthday book. They give uh, everyone's birthday a lucky card. So, yeah. Um, you know, and, I, and you're in. When, when I used to do my presentation, it was the same with Cartomancy. You talk about the relationship between a pack of cards and a calendar. And for those of you that don't know that, I'll go over it very briefly. Um, you've got the four suits, which represent the four season. There's 52 cards in the pack. There's 52 weeks in a year. There's 13 cards in each suit, which represent the 13 lunar cycles. Um, and if you add up the value of every card in the pack, having jacks as 11, queens as 12, kings as 13, you get 364. Chuck in the Joker, that gives you 365, the exact number of days in a year. Freaky. Um, and people used to use cards and still do for fortune telling, which is called cartomancy. Yeah. Um, so it all does relate mm -hmm. and it does make perfect sense. Um, I will say, before we go any further and before I show you my um, version of it, or a version of it, because I still perform the one as in the trailer, just get a deck, get them to shuffle it mm -hmm. up, get them to pick a card, and then we, we, you know, it matches the card and the date. But this is something I came up with um, specifically for when it was people's birthdays. But having come up with a congratulations, I think I'm going to change it to congratulations now because it will cover me for everything. Yeah. But I will say we're releasing this in two formats. So we have the complete package, and in the complete package you get the diary and everything else. And we are also releasing it just the DVD. So this is the Golden Diary Light. So on here you you will get the uh, special USPCC thing inside, and you'll get the DVD that will teach you how to set up your own diary. So we're doing this for people that want to write their own, yep. but 
I would presume the people that will buy it are the countries that don't read or speak English. Yeah. So now you can set up your own diary in your own language. Yeah. All right. So you can either buy the Golden Diary Lite, which will be the DVD and the special thing inside, or what we call the complete package, which comes with the specially printed diary as well. And these aren't so separately. <coughs> no. So uh, if you were thinking of doing your own, but you like the diary as well, then obviously you get both in the, yeah. in the complete package. So it will cover you for both. Um, yeah. So awesome. Shall we take a look at your handling? Yes. Let's. Oh, let's do that now. David. Yes. Um, do you are you superstitious at all? Do you do you believe in things like birthstones and certain things are lucky to certain people? Uh, yeah, I am a little you bit. You do. Yeah. Um, and you've heard of things like tarot reading. Mm. Have you heard of something called cartomancy? Yes, I have. You have. It's the art of telling fortunes using playing cards. And people done this way before tarot cards were invented. They would use playing cards to tell someone's fortune. And it's the same even nowadays. People still use playing cards. Yeah. Um, the other thing as well that a lot of people don't realise is the resemblance between a pack of cards and a calendar right. or a diary. If you take a pack of cards and you know within a pack of cards there's four suits, they're there to represent the four seasons. You have 13 cards in each suit which represent the 13 lunar cycles. There are 12 court cards in each pack which represent the 12 months of the year. There are actually 52 cards in a pack which represent the 52 weeks in a year. Yep. And if you were to add up the value of every single pip on the cards taking jacks as 11, queens as 12, kings as 13, you get 364, chuck in the joker, makes 365, the exact amount of days in a year. So there are people that believe no matter what day of the year you're born on, there will be certain things that are lucky to you, certain flowers, certain gemstones, and even certain playing cards. Mm -hmm. And you find that anyone that believes in cartomancy will always carry one playing card on them, and that will be their lucky card. I want you to imagine it as someone else. Obviously, I know your birthday, so um, just think of another birthday, all right? Got one. Yeah, you don't have to tell me what the date is, but what I want you to do is uh, pick up the diary yeah. and have a look through to that birthday and tell me what your lucky card is. Okay. Uh, four of Hearts is my lucky card. Four of Hearts. What was your What was your date? Uh, October sixteenth. Okay. So if, if you if you would have chose October fifteenth, what would your date be? Um, October fifteenth would be the date. Oh, the card would be 16. the King of Diamonds. Okay. And uh, what? if you went for the 17th? It would be the Ace of Spades. Okay, and just have a flick through and make sure there isn't any, what was it, Four of Hearts. Make sure there isn't any other Four of Hearts on the pages next to it. No, Four of Diamonds. Yeah. Five of Hearts, yeah. Yeah, so you're happy with that? Yeah. Cool. Okay, Four of Hearts. So this is the actual deck that I would use for, for cartomancy to find out what someone's lucky card is. Right. And the way it works is this. Um, you hand someone the deck, and I just want you to hold that deck for a few seconds. And now I want you to deal the cards face up onto the table. But when you see your card, the Four of Hearts, deal it face up over here, but keep it in this because I don't know how much of this is in uh, shot. Do it here. And put the Four over here. Four of Diamonds. Huh. Let's hope there is a Four of Hearts. There he is. Brilliant. So here's the idea. David, here's the idea. These are used for what we call cartomancy. Now, because the card on yours was the four of hearts, I could actually go into some sort of cold reading here and tell you about yourself. But what I will tell you is instead of doing that, now I could have got you just to, to reach in and pick a card. But by having a look at the lucky card by your date, there's no way I could have known what your birthday was. No and all this, but when I ask them to turn over their card, there is a message on the back of that card. And that does say, Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday. Now that will work. Nice. The reason I used to do this is there's absolutely no memory work on my part. Mm. <clears throat> Everything just works itself. I don't have to work anything out. The nice thing about this as well is like I said, if you change uh, Happy Birthday to Congratulations, that works for a birthday, yeah, yeah. it works for an anniversary, it works from the day you first met, it works from the, for you getting a new job. So almost any gig you're doing, you can do this routine. Mm -hmm. All right, there's no sleight of hand. It's all in your spectator's hands. And that's just, that's the basic uh, routine for it. 
And nice. uh, if you purchase the diary, that routine with full explanation will go into your account and I'll do the full performance. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah. So, so I'll give you the full performance with all the patter, with all the lunar cycle stuff and everything else. Yeah. All right, so you'll get that in there. But I just wanted to show you how that effect looks. Yeah, it's great, mate. It's great. And uh, also with this as well, if you purchase Gordon Diary from us, uh, you get an extra check as well. You do. Yeah. We did mention that earlier. So until Monday the 9th, you yeah. get an extra trick. Shall we see what it is? There we go. Let's have a look now. Pete, before I start any magic, I always like to do a little observation test. Are you up for it? Yep. All right, here we go. Watch. If I just shake these here, then I get a uh, Queen of Clubs face up. Now watch very carefully. Just by doing this, right there, I've switched it out. Did you, did you see it? No. Yeah, I switched it out for the uh, Queen of Diamonds Ooh. this time. Yeah, I know. Very cool. Um, look, you know what you're looking for now, so we'll go again. Watch the Queen of Diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's not happened yet. Right there, did you see it happen? No. Oh, well, I've now switched the Queen of Diamonds out for the uh, Queen of Spades. Now here's the big money question, okay? See if you were paying attention. Which one of the cards has not been face up yet? Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts? Yeah. Would you bet on it? Yeah. Good job. Yeah, you got it, the Queen of Hearts. But I will say, as we were doing this, that you did miss a couple of bits of vital information. So I would say probably a little trip to Spetsavers might be uh, on the cards for you. But this also breaks down as being something else because I don't know, they look like letters, but if you can read this, it says, um, did you see the cards change color? No. Not the faces, obviously, but look, these here, every single back has now changed right in front of your eyes. So a little trip to Spetsavers, I'll come with you, Pete. And there we have Killer Oh My God. So that was Killer Oh My God, and that will be included in your order if you order before Monday, at 9 a.m. Yeah, and the streaming video for that will get dropped straight into your uh, Alakazam account. So make sure you are logged in when you're purchasing this item uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, will they get access to the after show as well? Yes. So there we go. The after show that we filmed live yesterday, while we're filming this, yesterday we filmed the after show live. You're going to get uh, the after show dropped into your account as well. So you're going to get that, you can get your extra handling, and you're going to get uh, that trick as well. So, okay, good bundle. That is a very good bundle. You might not get all of the after show because we might be speaking about another product as well. Right. So you might not get all of it, no. but you will get the part referring to this. There we go. Cool. Um, so now on to our next new release. This is currently a pre-sale item. It's due in stock in about 10 days. Uh -huh. And it is number three in Jamie Dawes Dark series. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let's play the trailer. Think of a time that your eyes believed what your mind could never. That your heart failed to keep pace. Think of a time that you were so scared words completely escaped you. Now give that same experience to your spectators. With one photo, Make them see what they never saw and give them undeniable proof that there is life after death. Now, I managed to get hold of this. This is the last remaining photo from the case. Okay. Nobody knows why it's torn. That's sort of part of my fascination. That's part of why I really enjoyed the story. Yeah. I presume that this was the, the family, uh, one of the families at the time. Um, have, have a look. It's, it's sort of eerie in itself. Yeah. Now, what I'll do is I'll collect up all of the pieces and I'll place them face down and just look at somebody on there but get specific so, so tell me what they're wearing if they're male female tall short okay. just as much detail as you can from that person okay yeah now I said it was unlike uh, not too unlike this house it's because it was actually this house that the event happened right I know right let me just show you this photo let's put it back together a bit like a puzzle it's a bit like the story, really. Everything should be reforming. Now, everybody had the same account of the same person. So everybody said the same thing. So they said he was a sort of, not old, but not young. He was very well dressed. It yeah. was a man, obviously. Does it sound similar? Yeah. Don't tell me you've seen this person. Yeah, it's what I got. 
There's nobody in this picture that matches that description. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, that is weird. I saw her though. You're always freaking <laughs> me out, man. <laughs> My name is Jamie Dawes, and this is He's Not Here. Right, so that was the trailer for He's Not Here. Yes. Um, so that is coming out in around about 10 days from now. Get your pre-orders in now. It's a perfect trick for Halloween. It's really actually very spooky. It is, yeah. Because the way that he, the um, presentation aims this is like, if you can see this person, then you're cursed sort yeah. of thing. And it really, it really makes you feel a bit uneasy when you're watching it. Now, this trailer was actually filmed... Year over a year ago, I think. I think it was two years, two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that, that shows you the back catalogue we got. But yeah, um, yeah it, I remember it being a really spooky moment. I know we were, we were at Eastbourne Manor as well, which you know that's like the creakiest old sort of manor house as well, and uh, it really set the scene for it. But it's something that you can. I mean, Halloween is just around the corner. You'll be able to add in, and it just adds that extra moment. Yeah. But I know Jamie's going to go into on his. Uh, Tackling Terrifying Taboos Academy uh, about how you can actually perform um, horror related or darker Star Wars effects away from Halloween, how yeah. you can bring them into your everyday yeah. uh, stuff. So, yeah, it, it's perfect, it's different, and it really is very eerie. Yeah. It really is. And also, as a bonus, you get um, the effect, the Forgotten, I think, is included on the DVD. Yeah. And Jamie's incredible Torse Force. Yes. Now, that is a brilliant utility force for mentalists. Now, Jamie himself uses that for, for quite a few different effects. There's so um, much, yeah. And he used it, I'm sure it was part of his Magic Circle audition. Yeah. So on his, I believe, on his Tackling Terrifying Taboos, there's going to be a full performance of his audition with a breakdown, isn't it? We're going to break it down, yeah. Because uh, that was a real fun uh, sort of experience really i worked with jamie on this act and uh it was so much fun to find to take the tricks and actually see how he built his story uh around it to make it relevant and uh yeah we're gonna go into all of that and he's gonna do a performance and we're gonna break down the whole of that act so it really is gonna i am really looking forward to it cool yeah Right, so that brings us really to the end of this week's Alexan vlog. Please check out the Academy. We've got some amazing stuff happening. Um, grab hold of your newsletter because in the newsletter we are hoping to have information on the Academy, what's coming up, but you can just check the website anyway. Get your order in for the diary if you want Oh My God or Killer Oh My God uh, free of charge. They'll be stuck into anyone that orders before 9 a.m. on Monday, the 9th of October 2017, and that's 9 a.m. UK time. Yeah, and we're making that clear now because if you're watching this vlog later, then unfortunately you missed out. But um, yes, that's why it's always good to check out the lives. Yes. And there's no point in promoting that because it's already happened. That happened this Tuesday, it was great, um, and the live launches. Uh, you know, was last night, which was great. Yeah. Um, I will say there may not be an Alex Sam live this Tuesday, right? This coming Tuesday, because I think I'm away. Right. I need to check with the missus. Oh, okay. But I think I think we're away. So unless H is here and you're going to do one, if H is here, I will happily do <coughs> one. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, Tuesday at two o'clock is our normal time for a live, and uh, next week. Have we got Chris Rawlins one it's next week? Uh, the 11th. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. You so you've only got a few days to book your place on the Chris Rawlins uh, Revealing Mentalism course because, like we said, once it's aired, you will not be able to buy it. And we are so, near capacity on that one as well. So yeah. do just check that out. Um, it will say underneath if it is sold out. But while we're speaking at the moment, there are still some spots left for it. So. Yeah, so getting quick. So until next week, guys, um, I'm Pete Nardi. I'm Dave. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> See you guys. next week's Alexander Video Blog.